Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Vampire Survivors, shall we? I'm waiting to level up some of these. I want to unlock some of these uh, more formidable characters. And so I'm just going to play a run with our good buddy, Pasqualina, who may be one of the worst characters, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, she does make her projectiles go faster every five levels, so that actually happens quickly. But I'm just trying to get a few coins so I can unlock a new hero. Because, like you all have saying, been saying, Nickman, Key, Kuro... The list goes on with the amount of people who have played this game and enjoyed it. I'm on it. Okay, hmm, let's just see here. Clock Lancet, chance to freeze enemies in time. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna try it because I've never done it. And I mean, the ability, like every once in a while, what does it do? It just sometimes freezes things? I don't even know what to say. Is it is it one of my projectiles that's going out? Does it freeze them all in place? or? Yeah, if it hits them, it freezes them. That's very curious. But anything that could, like, potentially save my life by giving me some maneuverability does seem worth it to me. Boy, my Rune Tracer is not very powerful. And I'm sad about it. Oh my god, here they come. I'm gonna have to just keep on rolling here. I was trying to break that <laughs> lantern, but... Oh, we're not very strong, are we? It's all right. Give me it. Yes. Now we are talking. Okay. So in this case, hmm, what do we want? Well, I think we know how much I like the lightning ring, and it's a lot. I'll take the lightning. Thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. This is fine. We're doing just great. Look at all this. There you go. Blast him. You know, the Lancet actually helps more than you'd think. Just b freezing that one occasional enemy so that you can get around the edge and not get hit by the swarm is uh, pretty good. All right. Um, I'd love to do the lightning rod, but no, I'm gonna get a knife. I think being able to just like, oh God, that was poor. Okay. I think being able to just shoot in front of me or the direction that I'm going can help me. And like I always enjoy doing here, I want to get, oh boy, as many different sources of damage flying around as I can. And she gets to faster projectiles. So, maybe that's good. Now, when, it's, when the game says faster projectile, one thing I don't know is whether or not, basically, that means that they simply fly faster or that they trigger faster. Because if you're talking about the lightning going off more frequently, you know, then I'm on board. All right, we got to curl around. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to pick up a magic wand. I just... At this point, I just want all kinds. I want damage flying everywhere. I want as much damage as I can get. The clock lancet going, you know, lasting longer, that's also... It, it's helpful, but it's more like utility at this point. And I don't really know. I just want to get enough DPS going. All right. Well, speaking of DPS, there is the spinach. Spinach. 
I can't pass on it, but I really thought about the Rune Tracer right there instead of the spinach. Just because I'm, I'm enjoying the Rune Tracer and boosting it up, getting another projectile seems really good, if possible. I'm going to go with the cross. I, you know, I don't need any more spinach right now. I want more different things happening. I want my character just filling the screen. We really haven't... There's a treasure chest. I was just going to say, like, we really haven't gotten a treasure chest yet. Which is, like, a complete bummer. All right. I want that treasure, but I gotta patiently work through these flowers. There they go. Wow, look at all that. All right. Get it. Fantastic. Yes. Disco. Disco. There's that Rune Tracer. And 101 coins. Thank you. That's awesome. Alright. Got it. Oh, my sweet fancy Moses. We did it. Okay. So, um, projectile speed would, would be the bracer. But we're already good with that, just because of our character. I think I'll take another magic wand projectile. Get as many projectiles as possible, so that the, da the damage scaling happens even more frequently. Or, I should say, just has more things to be distributed and applied to. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this sea of gems. Do it. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with the Rune Tracer and just hope that at some point I can get one more projectile with it. There it is. Quite nice. Freeze him up. And we can go back here and just take advantage of the laps to collect a bunch of gems. Boy, that guy is... I mean, he's so tough, these enemies. Not impressed at all by my damage. We do have enough coins to unlock another hero, but we, we actually haven't made you know, as much progress as I was hoping for. Oh boy, here comes the swarm. So we're going to have to do a little bit of, not a little bit, a lot of moving. But man, we're going to have a bunch of good stuff to go back to because we tagged a bunch of those bats in the swarms. All right, ooh, things are getting really feisty. Hmm, okay. It's kind of like where I'm feeling that my damage just isn't there. 
Like, the enemies are really swarming me. Not, not getting around the, them as much as I was. Hmm. I want to try to cut back and pick up some of those gems. I need to start leveling up, but as you can see, there's just a ton of enemies all over the place. Hmm. You know, maybe the the better strategy is to just kind of hang in and and try and defeat a boss or several to get the treasures and to not just run around wildly like this. I'm not sure. There gets to be a point, you know, once a certain amount of time has passed where you're just, um, oh, this is really bad. Yeah, that hurt. You just don't have enough damage and they're gonna, like, plants are gonna come around or, you know, skeletons are just gonna be everywhere. Alright, we made it. There's the other rune tracer. Um, but... I think I'm actually going to take the wings and move faster. Moving faster is uh, maybe going to keep us alive here. I don't know. I mean, that... It might be like a robbing Peter to pay Paul kind of scenario, but... I feel like the extra escapability is large. Like, even right here, my lightning bolt hit that pack, and I was able to kind of negotiate. Yeah, move speed is just so insanely good. Yes. See, we froze them. We're dancing around with our move. And if we can get some chicken out of, like, one of these lamps or somehow, you know, at some point, be happy about it. Oh, here they come. This is not ideal. All right, so we just kind of need to patiently circle around. There's an opening up there on the at about 11 o'clock that I can try to slip through if they don't disperse first. Oh, here's one as well. This is a bigger one now. They got me, but not horribly. So now I'm going to try to kind of look for, oh boy, food and some some of the old gems that we had, you know, perhaps, man, unlocked, but I'm not finding them. Sometimes I lose where I was at on the map. Like, what? oh yeah, this is... This is when things just get really, really nasty. Okay, I was able to kind of cut a small path there with my clock and then use my movement speed to somewhat mitigate this, but this is just, you know, amber waves of grain right here. Oh, God. Yeah. This isn't good at all, and it's not stopping. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit alarmed by this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now, this is like, what, 1141? This is kind of the rubber meets the road. I don't know if it if the game starts scaling based on time or um, if it's based on how many enemies you killed or how much how many experience you have but look at that i mean rune tracer far and away my number one damaging thing lightning next magic wand pretty good knife terrifyingly bad all right um done and we didn't get any achievements but we did get just enough to unlock a new hero now which one do we want 
permanent plus one projectile. I mean, that's it seems ridiculous that you could have that. Um, gets more projectiles every 20 levels and permanent 30% area. Um, area is also good. But I'm going to go with, uh, this guy just seems so strong. Let's try it. Yeah, look at him. He's just throwing knives everywhere. And so I'm assuming every single thing I pick up will have an extra projectile. And the thing about this character is there's, you know, I guess it's it has good and bad sides, but there's no scaling. Like, he has all of his power up front. So you don't have to, like, level up a bunch to, to reap the rewards of this. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. So let's just see. Do I get two crosses as well? Yeah, I do. See? So anything that's a projectile, we take with this guy because uh, it's ridiculous. I also feel like, you know, maybe I could start trying to snipe bosses or something. I don't know. But I can just stand here. Mm -hmm. uh, fire wand is insane and if I get two projectiles with it you know or an extra one like uh, yeah I think I do so it normally fires three and uh, I'm getting four instead of just three fire wand does an absurd amount of damage fantastic bam how about that uh, we could improve our cross damage, but how about another axe? How about two axes? I mean, I think we just want to get level one projectile with this guy with almost everything because doubling it uh, just offers a very, very huge benefit. Um, let's see. Reduce weapon cooldown by 8%. This is what we're talking about. So this is, it makes it clear that it's distinct from range projectile speed. So the empty tome is the other thing. I'm actually gonna take it because it means that my stuff goes off more often and I'm getting two of it when it does. I mean, look at that. We just annihilated that entire field of bats. Yes, we took a little damage, but whatever. Uh, we'll get two whips. You know what I mean? Like, we'll just be whipping front and back whenever we want. So this character is just obliterating things. Now, I don't want to get too, you know... I don't have any uh, utility or defensive abilities yet, so that's that's probably a problem. Uh, all right. I mean, I think we have to take the spinach. It's ten percent of all of our doubled projectiles. I could have taken a third knife, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, look at this. That is quite a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. There it is. I'll take the base damage for the uh, the fire wand at this point. I need to kill a... I want some treasure chests. I, I'm just going to be really greedy about it. Uh, he didn't do that, though. He just gave me... 
I don't know if the red automatically gives you a level or what happens there. Uh, the shield is beautiful. I need some kind of defensive stuff here. Maybe not, but I like it. I mean, look at this character. We're like, um, we're four minutes in and we're ninth level. My previous character was 11 minutes and 10th level. Because after a while, you just couldn't claim... I wasn't doing enough damage, and I couldn't clear out enough stuff to come back and get the experience. All right. Um, I think we just take the, the Fire Wand. It boosts to damage, and it boosts to speed. It's beyond belief good. Go, go, go. All right, let's get some treasures. Let's find some cantankerous enemies while we're just collecting, you know, insane amounts of experience here. There we go. I mean, man, the fire wand, it's really tempting to just take, take this again. Uh, I'll take one more knife, though. I mean, three knives is pretty good. Maybe not. Maybe they just don't do enough damage, but they're always firing. They fire very quickly. Okay, let's kill this guy. Or at least try to. There we go. Man, these these green dudes have so much health. It's unbelievable that they won't go down. Oh, I need that treasure pretty badly. I know they're going to hit me, but I'll take it. Bam! How about that? So what is this, better shield? Cooldown reduced by 0.5 seconds, and you get a little bit more invulnerability. So that's pretty nice. And we're about to level up anyway. But mainly we want the coins so we can start buying passives. Um, hey! Good to see you, Mr. Level. Uh, wow! Now I'm going to take the knife. Now I get four knives, and the damage is up. It's interesting. It's a lot of knives. See, because, you know, my fireballs hit for like 40. Ooh, gosh, yes, 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 this. Look at this. Oh, I've never seen this before. Yes, thank you. This is awesome. Um, no, I need my damage up. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That thing, that like gravity item was unbelievable. I'll take it. Oh, freeze him up. All right, so where do we want to go? I'm looking for maybe a boss. Getting so much cash. Love it. Mm hmm. All right. So, nah, I don't really need that, but oh, here we go. Here's a, an enemy that is, uh, oh, yeah, that's a lot of experience. There we go. I'm going to get hit here. Unfortunate. But I was I was being very greedy trying to get <laughs> some of this experience. 
All right. Honestly, um, I'm going to take the armor and just give this character a little bit even more sustain. So we have a shield and armor. I like it. Just, you know, let's live a little bit longer. Okay. Here's some grub. I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to kill that bat. I don't know how it's still alive. It's pretty impressive. Hope my axe has got it. There we go. All right. Well, I got to clear my way through this garbage to get that treasure, but we'll get there. Maybe not. Someday. Let me loop around. I'm just hoping that enough damage eventually will pour in. All right, well, this is good. We got there. Great, go. Oh, buddy, that's the fire wand. All right, we will take it. Base damage up. Good. So now, look at the base, because the base damage goes up, and then the spinach is applied, and so basically, yeah, we're, I mean, it's just doing bonkers damage, which we needed, because we're starting to slow down on how badly we wreck things. Alright, here we go, here's some coins. Fantastic, oh, coins, great. But I do want to find, here we go, here we go. Man, it can be so difficult. Yeah, these red bats are quite formidable. But I'm just going to keep trying to throw stuff. Oop, they took my shield to get to that boss. Hmm. I'm just standing in one place too long. Even though I want to kill that boss, I can't do that justifiably at the moment. There we go. Another knife. Yes. <laughs> the knives are ridiculous. I'm just throwing like a thousand of these things at this point. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're starting to, yeah, I was going to say, we're hitting a 10 minute mark. So things are getting a little bit dicey. There's a break up there, potentially, that I can exploit. Oh, there's definitely a break there. I can... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The tree. The tree is... Oh, oh, darn. All right. Yeah, I got hit there, but we made it out. God, if I could get some kind of power up here that uh, that killed all these enemies, man. Yeah, even the green guys, if I throw all the knives at them a couple of times, they don't like it. All right, here's a big boss. Can I beat this guy? Okay, they're coming. Let's see if we can make it through. Here's a bunch of experience, anyway. Can I walk fast enough? Throwing enough... Can I throw enough knives to get through this? Oh! Or that. Holy smokes! That was, uh... No? Not confusing. It was... Thank you. Very good. Unbelievable is what it was. All right, so what do we want? Cooldown reduction is great. Give me a treasure. Even with that, though, it didn't kill everything. Like, it gave us a slight reprieve, but, you know, not massive. All right, 108 coins. 
and we we boosted our shield. I mean, it's pretty good. Can I make it through this group? I'm going to have to pray. Oh my gosh, there's like a... What is that thing? I don't even know what that does. Oh, it's this. Yes. Yeah, here we go. Get, do this. There it is. Yes. Ooh, we're getting really lucky with the power-ups. Uh, Laurel grants an additional charge. So now my shield has two charges. How about that? Ooh, here's a big bag of money, too. That's 100. All right, so... But even though we did that, they're still coming. Like, these enemies, these skeletons and things, they ain't they ain't messing around. All right, there we go. Got the wings. We can move. Okay. So let's run. Let's get away from this mass of skeletons. Now we have, like, werewolves on us, which doesn't look good. But if we can just kind of keep keep trucking along here. All right, I'm going to start trying to double back. And we need experience or power-ups or all of it. Okay, so we're 18th level, pretty good. This is, I think this is clearly my best uh, character. This is the furthest I've ever made it. And it's also, we got like 500 coins in the bank. All right, we need a good power up, that's food. That's okay, but that's not what we need right now. That's a coin. Nah, 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 you're not, you're not helping me out with that. Oh boy, here it comes, huh? Okay. Hmm. Now we're getting waves of ghosts. Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. I'll take the money. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a treasure or something up there, but I can't seem to stop fighting these guys. It's just wave after wave. All right. Uh, let's use the wings. Let's move faster. Maybe if I move faster. I can go up and get that treasure. I don't know. Oh, my shield is gone. That's that's unfortunate. We need that. I'm going to try to loop around. It just seems so hard to find any, any way through. Because there's just, you know, so many enemies. All right, here we go. Here we go. Use the pillars. Do it. All right, and we're going to... All right, it's red bats. That's fine. The spirits seem to have somewhat subsided, you know, so maybe with these slower enemies, I can dance my way back to at least this treasure chest. Right, we got to go this way now. No messing around. There it is. Cut in. Get it. Oh, we leveled up. I think we just need the damage, and here we go. All right, we got it. This isn't one of those super tre treasures where you get three, but it's still very good. All right, is this another axe? Let's see what we got. 73 coins, and ho oh, ho, thank you. It is another axe. All right, great. So now we have, you know, what, three axes just flying through the air at people. Pretty good stuff. All right, there's two... Uh, boss bats if we could take them down, but I need I need some reprieve All right, here we go There's chicken. We don't really need that actually at the moment. I Need like a, a big power-up a screen clear It would be good. Oh No, okay <laughs> This is Less than ideal. I'm just going to run through with my shield. And then now I have no shield. Man, I'm getting hit. But I had to do that. Yeah. Yeah. This character has done a great job, but we're clearly overmatched here. Oh, well, we got a shield back. We got a shield back. You're saying there's a chance. Mm -hmm. 
I'd love to luck into some kind of last second treasure chest just before we die. Need some chicken. Oh, here's a bunch of praying mantises. Cool. That's a coin. Well, could be worse than a coin. I remember when these praying mantises were like bosses. Now there's so many of them. They're just regular enemies at this point. This is not ideal. Looking for a lantern. All right, looks like I can go this way a little bit. Um, that hole closed pretty quickly there. There's some food. Okay. So we somehow broke through. Can I kill you? Can you just give me a treasure? Yeah. Yeah. That was great. Not very much money, and not the best buff, but we'll still say thank you. I mean, armor will help us sort of survive for a moment. Let's see if we can kill you. Ooh, there's like walking golems or Frankensteins or something. Interesting. You need to die, Bat. What, what is going on here? How are you not dead? Get out of here, Bat. All you have was a red gem, too. Shame on you. It should have been a treasure. All right. Oh, there's a big werewolf. Okay. All right, so I think we made it so far outside that we need to kind of ease back inside. and find some of the gems that we've left behind. There's got to be some somewhere. I feel like I had to have killed something. All right, well, here's money. Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Here we go. Diabolical. Alright. Yeah, some of these bigger guys are just like, we don't care about your damage. It means... It means nothing to me. Oh, God, they're coming... They're circling around me now. Oh, I got caught on that post. That was a problem. All right, give me a good power up here. Oh, it's a coin. I need the bailout. That is not a bailout. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got to take a hit here. The shield does let you do that, though. Like, pull that maneuver where you just kind of dodge through them. I like that. I mean, the shield has saved my life so many times it's it's my MVP imagine if I had good regen you know my hit points would be back to full it's it just will take forever for the regen that I do have to make an appreciable difference on my hit points but it's ticking up they're ticking up all right what you got for me what you got yes magnet me uh, there really isn't much to magnet unfortunately these are just regular bats though I mean it could be worse. There it is, the magnet. Oh my gosh, I didn't think the magnet was going to work anymore. All right, we're going to increase the base damage. Oh, holy smokes. All right. 
movement speed for sure. And oh my goodness, it's happening. Uh, do that cross. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, cool down. Holy smokes. Movement. Oh my goodness. We're getting a bunch of stuff happening. Base damage on the axe. Let's go. Now, I almost got killed there, but... We basically were able to just improve our movement speed. So much that uh, we might have a chance here. Now, I need to catch a break. Hmm. I don't know if that means just keep like running in this direction if I'll ever catch any kind of break doing that or not. Oh no, this isn't. This is not a break. This is like flowers everywhere forever. Stop it, flowers. What is happening? Right, can I get a treasure chest from this guy? Yes, I did. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's spinach and a hundred coins. Excellent. Thank you. I'll take it. All right. Let's see if we can sneak out of this. I don't even know if you kill these flowers or if these flowers just like disappear. Oh, another treasure. All right. We'll take it. Let's go. Yes. I mean, I'm just trying to get coins to unlock stuff at this point. Ooh, spinach. Thank you. Well, our damage is up. How about that? Oh, my God. Look at that big, like, mummy. These mummies. All right. All right, here we go, here we go. Can we get outside of the grasp of these flowers? Not very easily. They just keep coming. I think maybe I went the wrong way. Maybe I zigged when I should have zagged. Because I just can't... Ah, well, now they're thinning a little bit. Here we go, kill this guy. Risk everything. All right, that was dumb. Oh my god. So dumb. I gotta run. I thought I had enough damage in my pocket to kill that boss bat. I did not. And I mean not even close. Oh boy. Go, go, go. We're going to get a lot of good data on this character with, like, you know, what weapons are worthwhile. Oh, God. We are nearly shieldless. Hmm. Alright, they're not messing around. And they're not stopping. I have hardly any health. And I'm not able to really even acquire experience at this point. So this is just... Uh, it's been a thrill. But unless I can catch a break. Like, unless they just stop coming or give me some kind of... Uh, like a, a thing that I can cut through. Alright. Alright. We did die, which is a bummer, but we did our best run ever. So I'm going to say that was a good one. Um, we got Find a Vacuum, so we got the Attract Orb. Uh, we got the Fire Wand to level 4, so we unlocked Arca. 
and we got the inlaid library. I don't know what that means. We unlocked Pumarola and we got a pentagram. So we got a bunch of stuff right there. Now look at the DPS. I mean, it's so interesting what worked there. Actually, everything worked there. The whip, not really, but I only had it at level 1. The fire wand, as always, performed very well, but the cross actually did pretty good. The knives did not disappoint, and the axe was fantastic. So here we go. So we made a bunch of money, uh, and we're ready to roll on the next run. Everyone, this is a wonderful place to just celebrate and take a break. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you next time. Take care.